Have you ever heard about something called fake news, fake websites, copy paste, rumors, or misinformation? Well, this is a serious topic that has been increasing since the internet was invented. This may seem like a nonsense topic, but over the years, more and more users believe the lies that are spread through the internet. Picture this, you're in class and the teacher leaves a homework assignment to investigate about orcas and where they are mainly located. Plus, do a presentation. You think this is an easy assignment, so you get home, you do the homework, you don't really read, you just click to the first website that is brought up to you, you copy paste and think your homework is done. The next day, you enter class and the teacher asks you to go to the front of the class and start presenting while you pull up this presentation and begin to read it. Once you start, you quickly realize that everything is wrong. You're not even talking about orcas, you're talking about dolphins. This is just a silly example, but this is more common than you think. And it is a consequence of how we have an information overload in every search engine possible, like Google. Now, let's talk about something I'm sure you know about, something called fake news. Fake news have always existed, which affects society in the way that people are misinformed about certain topics. Due to the fact that many people publish certain false content just to make money or in some cases to generate drama in society. Many of the people do not take the time to check if the page they are entering is secure or what if they are reading is true. Fake news are spread thanks to the use of tricks and deceptions so that users read and share them. Every day we see cases in which people are affected by these type of problems. As we see today with the excess of information and fake information about COVID-19. Many people suggest certain home remedies to avoid this kind of virus, and some even became trends. Another great example is the vaccine. Rumors on the internet circulated that the vaccine had a chip, that it had a live virus, and that the needle was left in your arm, which are obviously not true. In this case, we realize that it is very an important issue and the large number of people believe this type of information it is true and that's where the problem comes. The excess of information on social networks causes people to believe everything they read. Another great example is Wikipedia. Wikipedia is a very common web page. I know a lot of you heard about it before which provides us all kinds of information. But the problem with this page is that anyone and everybody can edit the information, either for true or false information. And this is a problem since many people believe the kind of information and it distorts all the information. Take a look at this picture. They're talking about the Harlem Shake a popular dance in 2013. The dance, it is what's not important. What it is important and what we're focusing on is what the editor wrote on accident. Oh God, I didn't mean to delete it all. Just one paragraph, please help. That is why it is important to always be updated with different types of web pages since it could harm you both in work and in your daily life to read something that is not 100% true. It is also very important to consult reliable sources since fake news can harm in a terrible way and even make us look ridiculous. That is why it is asked not to consult this page since other people can edit and not all are experts and many people are mocking or harming others. They can put something that has nothing to do with it or even a person who thinks it is good or seen from another perspective different from the true one can change the information because he thinks it is good. So as a suggestion, do not consult this source since it can be contradictory for everyone. Now, let's talk about an experiment called the tree octopus. 
The Pacific Northwest tree octopus is an internet hoax created in 1998 by Lao Zapato, a page full of information about this unique species that needs to be saved from extinction. This caused a great confusion in social networks, wondering if it was real or not. But it was completely fake. Everything it said on the page was false. The amount of information they gave you was impressive. At first glance, you believe that it looks like a campaign that wants to save octopuses. And you will ask, why would someone lie about this? They did this on purpose to teach students about digital literacy, to not believe everything you look up on the internet. Teachers showed students this website, they made them investigate it, and the teachers revealed the truth, that the tree octopus was completely fake. Many students did not believe it, and it shows the amount of value that we put on information about the internet. So, just because he said it looks credible, doesn't mean it is. Use various sources to determine credibility. And don't be fooled by professional looking websites or web videos. Celebrity politics in the fake news. To understand how the phenomenon of celebrity has developed and interacts with politics and how so-called fake news has become such an important part of this, we need to first understand and how the related phenomenon of social media and the mainstream media have begun to feedback into one another. And now, the two spheres are beginning to create a new hybrid ecosystem of interacting media that is unfamiliar to many established politicians and institutions. This is being exploited by new political actors especially, but not exclusively, those who can leverage pre-existing public recognition or NORI and deploy it across novel platforms to bypass the traditional channels of communication and reach directly to new mass audiences of dissatisfied people, changing the culture and potentially the fates of our nation. We learned that day by day, more people believe in this kind of lies. And it is because, as a society, we have become, you guessed it, lazy. People in the 21st century don't really read. If they hear or see something in a magazine headline, they don't click to see the article. They just press the headline. As a solution, we can be investigated the source of the news or to make sure it is true. We can do this by searching other websites, the news, or even the newspaper. Another solution is to see news channels to make sure the information is reliable and we are not misinformed. On some occasions, the government through the media tries to distract our attention by giving us fake news so we don't know the true problem in our country. As a solution, we can look for podcasts or news for reliable sources as channels, websites, news channels, radio stations, newspapers, and journalists that are known for telling the truth. We can also talk to our friends and family about this information through them find out what they have read or heard in the news. It is up to us to find radio stations, news channels, even journalists that we know have years of experiences and they want to inform the public about what is really happening and count with evidence. This is the case of situations or events that are happening in the real world and affect us as citizens. A lot of channels exist that are called in Mexico amarillistas and all they want is to cause scandals and they have no evidence of the, pub, the news they publish. A solution is not to watch or hear information from these sources that usually we can identify or know who they are. So, number one, have a healthy level of skepticism. Number two, if you need to investigate, read different sources. 
Number three, give preference to organizations or university articles. Number four, if something you read doesn't make sense, investigate and take those extra few minutes. And number five, don't be lazy and read. Thank you.